Are you hungry? Hungry as a gremlin? Here's gremlin cereal. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlins is a deliciously sweet, crunchy cereal that satisfies the hungry little gremlin. That's in all of us. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlin cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gremlin, yum, yum. and General Warhawk with their battle action weapons, each sold separately. There's a new cereal in the neighborhood with owls and ghosts. Tastes real good. Ghostbusters. Marshmallow ghosts. Fruit flavored oats. Ghostbusters taste great with milk and juice and toast. A nutritious breakfast with the ghosts. Ghostbusters. Fruit flavored oats. Marshmallow ghost. Ghostbusters! Hey, what are you gonna crunch? Ghostbusters! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Yahoo! It's showtime! Hey, annoying hombres making you do stuff you hate? Don't lose your head, make them history! Ah! Think that's scary? Watch this! Whoa! That went right through me! Did you see that? Ah! Now watch this! First, a double team! Ah! Now, a double scare! Ah! Nobody beats me! Ah! Ah! So when you wanna scare somebody, Give me a call. Beetlejuice! 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 Dino! Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop, Robocop. Do exactly what I say, Mr. Engineer, or this is going to be the little train that couldn't. Got it? Good. Now I got some ticket collecting to do. We've got trouble on the 16th Street Double R line. Alert our closest units to move in. Officer Lewis reporting, Sarge. Murphy and I are on our way. Those would-be hijackers will wish they took the buffs instead. Surprise, people! We just raised train fares. Pay up or the ride's over. Nice looking purse, lady. Think it'll go with my outfit? Empty your pockets, man. I want everything, including the lint. Get ready. Here it comes. Are you sure about this? Ah! Thanks for the lift, partner. Anytime, Lewis. Uh, uh, please, don't hurt me. Don't worry, man. We just want to light and load. You are under arrest. Put down your weapons and surrender peacefully. Surrender? Man, is your brain rusty? The scavengers never surrender! There is always a first time. Not today, Copperhead! Stay behind me, Lewis! But Murphy! Hey! You can't do that! Get your hands off me, buddy! This ain't no game, Robocreep! Murphy, don't worry about me! and your partner eats track. All right, you win. We did it! Nobody can stop us! Nobody! What the... So long, suckers! You have the right to remain silent. Lewis, are you all right? Everything's fine, Murphy. Just fine. Get back 
in your cages, you rats! What's bugging Lewis? She get up on the wrong side of the bed? She was almost hurt today. Well, no one ever said fighting crime was going to be easy. I should work alone. I do not wish to see Lewis hurt because of me. Murphy! So you do have feelings for me. I do not wish to see anyone get hurt. Listen, Robocop. As long as you're a cop, you follow the rules. And rule number one is all cops have partners. Lewis is one of the best. And she stays your partner. I guess you're stuck with me, pal. Excuse me, I must recharge. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Murphy. Robocop is scored once again by seizing the sinister Subway Smashers. The galvanized guardian of Detroit suffered only a few dents, but once he undergoes re-energizing, our steel sentry will be back on the streets, protecting our peace and prosperity. Blast Robocop! He's always saving someone and making himself a hero. You should be out there on the streets instead of that overrated claptrap. I am programmed to maintain law and order, awaiting activation. You'll get your chance, my friend, soon enough. But first, X-376 must do its job. Get them all right. Hey, what's going on? What's in the place? Robocop and you'll be good as new. So far, your power has been recharged by 80.02%. Please hurry, Dr. Tyler. Crime goes unchecked every minute I wait here. That's your least worry, Murphy. Human cops kept this city pretty peaceful long before you clanked into town. Robocop wasn't doubting your abilities, Lewis. He was just recognizing his strengths. You know he's almost completely indestructible. He'd be much better off working alone. Now, just one minute, Miss High and Mighty. Time out, ladies. The vandals are free, and they're going crazy at the city pound. I am needed. Robocop, wait. You're not fully charged. Crime does not wait. I must go. Not without me. Wait up, Murphy. Not this time, Lewis. There might be danger. Get back here, Murphy. We're partners, remember? Good. Old Lead Bottom is gone. Now let's get on with the job. Yes! <laughs> They're out cold. Come on, let's do it. Hey, Jaws. Here, boy. <laughs> it's breakout time. The city pound closed hours ago. What? You are under arrest. It's time to put you to sleep, Robotog! Let's get out of this doghouse! Fast! Stay away, you 
barbarians. Get lost, lady. We want the chair, not you. But it's of absolutely no use to you. You want a bet, lady? Without it. Robo creeps nothing more than a piece of useless old junk. <laughs> <laughs> What happened here? The Vandals were what happened. They took the regeneration chair. This is just what I was afraid of. Your power is down 65% and we can't recharge you. Then you'd better start building a new chair right away, Doc. It would take weeks to build a new one, and RoboCop only has a few hours. What's the matter, RoboFlop? Lose the key that winds you up? Stop it, Lieutenant. Robocop, you must keep your energy level low. The more power you waste, the quicker you'll wear down. I understand, but I do not know what to do. You can count on me, Murphy. I'll be here for you as long as you need me. Thank you, Officer Lewis. Oh, how touchy. Are you also friends with your toaster and vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Candy from a baby! <laughs> Big deal! So we got Robocop's chair. What do we do now? It's time we pay McNamara back for keeping us behind bars for so long. Hey, Doc, we got the chair. Excellent. Bring it to my lab immediately. No way, man. If you want it, you'll have to pay. Big money. Pay for it? Listen here, you lousy thief. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be walking in that jail. Here's what I think of you, big man. Looks like we got cut off. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be sticking to you like a fly to fly paper, Murphy. But I am in more danger now than ever before. I do not want you to risk your life because of me. You won't, Murphy. Together, we're unbeatable. This is the place. The Vandal's old hangout. Let us check it out. Out of the way, kid. This is my game. Oh, but I was playing. What? Uh, my, my mistake. Citizens, I want information. Where are the Vandals? I want information now. Get it, RoboFuzz. We don't have to tell you nothing. Yeah, that's right. I repeat, I want information. Check this out, Tin Man. You want this, Chrome Dome? Okay, okay, Mr. Robocop. What do you want to know? Where are the Vandals? Oh, they, they was here, but they left hours ago. They, they said they had your chair. Come on, Murphy. You're wasting your power on this punk. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Well, what's our next move, Murphy? Murphy, what's wrong? Just checking my systems. Power is down to 35%. You sure you can drive? Yes, I feel. Lewis, look! Uh-oh, that's no barbecue! Help! Someone help! There, on the top floor! We must save them. Call the fire department. Murphy, wait! You can't use up your power! I have a job to do, no matter what the risk.
not touch me. I am still hot. Well, so am I. What's the big idea barging in there all by yourself? I had to help those people. I know, Murphy, but you're destroying yourself by using up so much power. I have enough power. For now. So, how come we're just sitting here? Yeah, I'm itching for some hot action. Simmer down, headhunter. When you're negotiating, you gotta use psychology. Huh? Sure, let the other guy stew in his own juices. By now, I think your McNamara's about cooked. <laughs> so, you still want to sell me the chair, huh? Well, forget it. As long as Robocop's losing energy, I don't care who has it. You bozo stole that chair, now you can sit on it. But, but, but... I knew keeping this chair was a stupid idea. So what do we do now? <laughs> Maybe we can sell it back to the cops. Are you crazy, man? Wait! That's such a stupid idea, it just might work! We got a call for you, Robo. Could be a lead. This is Robocop. Listen, Toaster Head, the Vandals and me got your chair. But we can make you a deal. What kind of deal? You want your chair back? You make sure me and the boys got free reign in the city. And we don't want you cops hassling us! Got that trash for brains? I never make deals with criminals. But Murphy, they've got your chair. How are we gonna find it? I traced his call. Way to go, Murphy! Let's get him! Well, this looks cozy. I should have known we'd find those rats in a hole like this. What are you doing? This is my fight. You stay here. Hey! You locked the door! Let me out! Come back here, Murphy! I'll get you for this! We can't sell it and we can't give it away! We're stuck with this lousy chair! So why don't we just smash it? Yeah, let's wreck it real good! <laughs> Hold! You are all under arrest! How did he find us? You have the right to remain silent. And we got a right to burn you to slag! He ain't stopping! <laughs> In that case, maybe he'd like a lift! <laughs> That's two points for the vandals! Uh, rapidly losing power. Look at him. He's almost bought the farm. Almost ain't good enough. No. Magnet is too powerful. Cannot pull free. Enjoy the ride, you walking garbage can. It's gonna be your last. Hey, Headhunter, which is flatter, Robocop or an aluminum pancake? I don't know, Crash. Which? <laughs> Beats me, but we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> come on, come on! Open up, please. Bingo! Just wait till I get my hands on that chauvinistic cyborg. <laughs> Two more seconds and he's scrap metal! Don't bet on it, Bozo! Huh? This party's over! Lewis! Hang in there, Murphy! I'll have you out in a jiffy! Back off, creep! Now! <laughs> What's the matter, lady? Too hot to handle! Stay back! I warn you! Ooh! She's warning us! Yeah! I'm seeking in my boots! Let's get her! Shot. Lewis, hurry! I'm 
coming, Murphy. Uh, nice doggy. Chew on this. The vandals real mad, lady. And when we get mad, other people don't like it very much. Uh, uh, Lewis needs me. Halt. Murphy, you saved me. No, you saved me. Vandals are in custody once again after a battle with Robocop and his partner, Officer Lewis. Further reports indicate... Blast, Robocop! He's done it again! Big Bad Cop, littering is against the law. You mechanical moron, this is my office and I can... You are resisting. Force must be used. Stop! I order you to... Yeah! You stupid robot! I'll shut you down! I can... What do you think, Dr. Tyler? Is he... I'm not sure, Officer Lewis. His circuits were badly damaged, but... Reports of my shutdown have been greatly exaggerated. Murphy! Oh, thank heavens. His systems are stabilizing. Glad to see you, Robo. Well, I'm not sure I am. After the way you locked me in that car? I... I was wrong. I promise it will not happen again, partner. That's a deal, partner. I've got to find Evil T-1000. Disguised as a policeman, Evil T-1000 aims to destroy. I've got you now. Who's got who? Time to get serious. New Mobile Assault will blow you away. The party's over, T-1000. Adios, amigo. Terminator. I'll be back. Hey, kids, I'm here to tell you about two extremely famous plumbers, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, from the Super Mario Bros. movie. You want to know what makes them super? Because they triumph over the evil Koopa and his brain sidekicks, Iggy and Spike, using only their plumbing tools, and they battle the Goombas, Koopa's hideous dino human army. Those Goombas are scary. The Super Mario Bros. action figures from Earl. But don't worry, they're not real.
Tomahawk, just like we told you. Someone's been digging up the old Indian burial ground. My ancestors have kept this ground sacred for 500 years. What kind of person would rob graves? An, 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 an person. Look out! It's Skin Man! Get him, Tomahawk! Get him! Killer, this hunk of rock will lead me to the lost cavern where ancient Indians found the fountain of youth. Yeah, don't you know nothing, Weed Brain? I know those scratchings don't make no sense. They will to someone who knows the language. Someone we can capture and force to tell us what the tablet says. I know which someone. That Indian game warden, Tomahawk. Yeah, but when Tomahawk's in trouble, Swamp Thing shows up. Don't worry about Swamp Thing. I'll handle that muck-encrusted mockery of a man. But first, Skin Man, I must transduce you into your most evil mutant form. Isn't there some easier way? There's only my way! Always climb in! One man, arise! <coughs> Search the swamp, find Tomahawk! The Fountain of Youth can give me immortality. It must be mine. <coughs> Cheer up, Tomahawk! We'll get this burial ground back like your ancestors left it in no time! Yeah, nobody does better shovel work than me and JT. What? Take this, Delbert. Uh, 
As long as Swampy's got my shovel, why don't I just go to lunch? Skin Man took that stone tablet to Arcane. You won't have time for a lunch break. No lunch? If there's any chance the Fountain of Youth really exists, Arcane will start tearing up the swamp to find it. My people believe it's real. They've told its legend for centuries. A real fountain of youth could benefit all of mankind. Yeah, Swampy. And maybe you could use it to cure yourself. If you could go back to being young, you could go back to being human. Hmm, maybe. Look out! Guard the boys while I give Arcane's Unman his lunch. Get him, get him! Skin Man's attack was a trick. Well, well, the guardian of the earth can't guard anybody. <laughs> I'll need your help to rescue Tomahawk. Anything you say, Swampy. I want you to get a message to Abby Arcane. There's only one way I can get inside the arcane plantation. Now listen, what I want you to do is get in there. What? Thanks, Abby. Now, tell me the shortest way to your stepfather's lab. But, Alec, it'll be too dangerous. It's the only way I can help Tomahawk. See what wondrous changes my transducer can make in a man. Now it's your turn to be transduced unless you do what I command. Get mute, mutant! Read me the directions to the Lost Cavern and the Fountain of Youth. Read them yourself. Strap this stubborn fool into the transducer. Release him, Arcane! How dare you invade my sanctuary! Unmen, attack! We killer, you fool! You wasted your shot! Get him! Yeah! Oh! Ah! Swamp Thing is mine! You will direct me to the Lost Cavern, or Swamp Thing will be transduced into a clump of useless chemicals. And if I do help you? Swamp Thing will go free. You win, Arcane. I'll read you the map. A wise decision. Take him to the Bayou Blaster. Transduce the muck monster into nothingness. With the Fountain of Youth giving me immortality, I won't need his secrets anymore. But you say it. I know what I said, but transduce him anyway. Oh. It's all over for you, muck man! <coughs> Alec, I've got to do something fast. Ow. 
Get off me, you furball! I don't know which of those two is the bigger rat. The entrance to the Lost Cavern is somewhere here in Dead Man's Bog. But where, Tomahawk? Where? Through the waterfall. You better not be lying to me, Tomahawk. Well, well, well. What have we here? Found it! The secret entrance to the Lost Cavern! Dr. Arcane, uh, this is Weed Killer, uh, Swamp Thing, he's escaped! Weed Killer, you mindless mutant, can't you do anything right? You promised you would let Swamp Thing go if I helped you. I lied. Skin Man, you take Tomahawk into the cavern. I will create a mutant surprise for Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing will be here soon, and my new uncreature will take care of him. Pain took the high roads, I'll take the low road. The Bayou Blaster! Arcane oh, never was very good at covering his tracks. Something's not quite right around here. Whoa! Your strength doesn't work. Just have to build a better fish trap. Oh, I gotta remember this place. It's a great fishing hole. Now to stop our cane. There it is. The tunnel we've been looking for. The tablet says that no man can pass through that tunnel. Maybe no man can pass, but my unman will, won't you, Skin Man? <laughs> There's no way for me to make it without being smashed! What happened? According to the tablet, even the slightest noise will cause the stalactites to fall. Welcome to the Tunnel of Silence. I refuse to be stopped when I'm so close to my goal! Dr. Arcade, look! Swamp, Swamp Thing? <laughs> but how? We're trapped! We can't go forward! We can't go back! What now? We'll let Swamp Thing take care of the Tunnel of Silence. And the Tunnel of Silence take care of him! <laughs> Quick, hide! will fix that nuisance. Hey, muck man! Eat rock! Huh? Ow! Leave Tomahawk here. The muckmeister may have found what we're looking for. The 
legend is true. There is a fountain of youth. Oh! No one can drink from these magic waters. Oh, wait! I don't want to fight you. Oh! 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 Yeah! Skin Man, keep those two busy while I gulp down my fill of immortality. Oh! Oh! Okay, Bat Face, take a look at my bioglow powers. No! Stop! Too bright! I can't see! What manner of creature are you? Why did you save me? Arcane! He's drinking from your fountain! No! Do not drink! The price is too high! At last! I've done it! I have reversed my age! I have achieved my immortality! And I have failed. I did not save you from the fountain's curse. How could this be a curse? You'd better listen to him, Arcane. I have won. I don't need your growth formula now. You are expendable. Wow! Ooh. This chamber's caving in. We better join them. I cannot leave. I must stay to guard the fountain. It is my sacred pledge. Crew! Swamp thing! Hang on, Tomahawk! That wall is falling in! We can't hold it! Nice try, but it's not enough! I thought you couldn't leave the chamber! How could I not help the creature who saved me? Push harder! We can do it! I can't believe this! What happened to you? The power of the Fountain of Youth does not extend beyond the chamber. That is the price of immortality. Will you become young again if we take you back to the fountain? Yes, but you must hurry. Thank you. Now I can guard the fountain for another thousand years. You've been here a thousand years? At least. I came to find eternal youth, but I found only a prison. You must drink this water every day? Yes, or become my true age. That is why I guard the fountain, to protect others from my fate. Then Arcane's immortality won't last. No, and neither will you if you stay here. The cave-in has started again! Hurry! If you don't leave now, there will be no escape! Now to make sure that Swamp Thing is trapped forever, and I can enjoy my immortal life. <laughs> At last, the end of Swamp Thing. Hmm, I'd almost forgotten how distinguished looking I am. Ugh, green growing things, I hate them. Skin Man, destroy him. 
You may abuse my unman, but you can't hurt me. I'm immortal now. Only if you go back to the Fountain of Youth and the caverns collapse behind us. <laughs> You've defeated yourself, Arcane. What do you say, you fool? Look at me. I'm young. I'm handsome. I... I... No! 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 If only the Fountain of Youth could have made you human again, Swampy. The Fountain was a trap for greedy people like Arcane. People who want easy answers. My own answer will be hard, but that won't stop me from finding it. Somehow, someday, I will become Dr. Alec Holland again. I'll continue the scientific work which the world needs so badly. And until then, no evil that Arcane tries will stop me. like a gruel duel, dude. Heinous display of manners. We've got a most excellent way to start your day. Or night. Bill and Ted's excellent cereal. Cinnamon oats with marshmallow notes. It's the most triumphant part of this complete breakfast. Awesome cereal duels. Who gets the last bowl? He does. New Bill and Ted's excellent cereal. It's most excellent. Make no mistake. Jack Slater is the last action hero. Ripper, you're looking sharp today. Whack! Big mistake. Cool, Slater talks! Whack! Welcome, Slater. Jack, help! Pull up a chair. Heads up. Yo! Ooh. Danny, don't let them get away! Oh, no! You guys still hanging around? Sound punch Slater and chair crashing Slater talk and make sound effects. Other figures sold separately. New from Mattel. This summer, coming to a supermarket near you, there's going to be a great new high sea flavor with an outrageous food taste. And what are we going to call it? Ector Cooler. <coughs> high sea Ector Cooler. <coughs> Slimer's new food drink. You've been warned. It's the Jurassic Park Command Compound. With an electronic computer that says over a hundred commands. And help. We need more firepower. The computer. And help. Helps you control Jurassic Park. Got it. Hey, you're right. I got you. Look out, Pat. Fire the net. Got him. Compound secure. Yeah. Jurassic Park Electronic Talking Command Compound. Figures and dinosaurs sold separately. Batteries not included. Let's take care of your neck. <laughs> 
somewhere in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. This is Whitley White, reporting live from the camp of the noted archaeologist Hernando Lama. What have you found in this remote, uncharted part of California, Professor? That dish was 5,000 years old. Yeah, well, that's pretty old, I guess, but what our audience is really interested in is this. Hmm, exactly what is this? Oh, it's a prehistoric stem from the missing tomato link. Yeah, yeah, but who cares about a tomato that's been dead for a million years? No, 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 you don't understand. This stem is fresh. It came from a living tomato link. Incredible as it may seem, it is still alive somewhere in this jungle. Whoa, that's the same tomato stem that Whitley White had on the 6 o'clock news, Doc. How many times, Igor, have I told you not to refer to me as Doc? I am Dr. Putrid T. Gangrene, founding member of the Mad Scientists and Arch Villains Marching and Medicine Society. I am not, and never will be, Doc. Have a cow about it, Doc. I mean, Doctor. Yeah, I only meant... You meant that this stem from my top tomato collection is exactly like the one that Professor Hernando Lama discovered in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. My stem is petrified with age, but Professor Lama's stem was fresh. It proves what I only dare dream, that the missing tomato link, the link between fruit and vegetable, is still alive after a million years, somewhere in the remote, uncharted reaches of the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. Do you realize what this means? I can capture it and use it to create a new species of master tomatoes, which I can use to conquer the world, beginning with San Zucchini. <laughs> I hate San Zucchini. It's so, so all-American. Well, uh, what do you think, Tara? A little more to the left, I think, Mr. Finletter. Hmm? Uh, no, no, I mean pizza and sushi, my new image. I liked it better last week when you had hot frozen pizza sundaes, especially the butterscotch and anchovies. Except I could never figure out how to keep the ice cream from melting when I baked the pizza. Uh, how's it going, Chad? Not so good, Uncle Wilbur. The toppings all seem to have a mind of their own. And that's the way it was today in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens and the incredible discovery of the missing tomato link. This is Whitley FT's White. excited. FT's right on target when it comes to sensitive tomato trouble. And you can bet that Dr. Gang Green will be involved. Gang Green's history, Chad. It's got to be the ugliest dog I've ever seen. Are you sure this is okay, Chad? No one believes Dr. Gang Green will be going after the missing tomato link. So it's up to us. I have just enough money saved for my pizza delivery tips. I can buy two plane tickets to the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. Hurry up, I'm gonna miss my plane. Relax, mister. You're starting to turn green. I've got to get to that plane or I'll... Ah! And I thought Uncle Wilbur was weird. Movie's about to start, Doctor, Sir. <laughs> What's in these funny little paper bags? Tara, no! Not so! Uh oh. This is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seat belts. We're about to experience some slight turbulence. Tomato! No, it's not a tomato. It's just a soft apple. I'll take that. No unauthorized produce permitted in the botanical gardens. Gee, sure looks like a tomato. It smells like my girlfriend's perfume. No, don't! It's uh, an experiment. It, it can make you sick.
Okay, let's score one for Tara. All right, Garrett. Expedition. That looks like the Queen Mary. I don't think we can afford it on a Saturday morning budget. She may not be a bonita, Professor. Oh, that's okay. Just so she gets us to the Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon? Ah! I told you not to mention the Black Lagoon. There is not a crew in all California that will sail with us there. <clears throat> Uh, we'll be the crew. Yeah. The chico can tie knots. The chica can untie them. And the dog, the dog can cook. Curses. They must not beat us to the Black Lagoon. Wagons, roll out. Yow. How are you going to follow them, master, sir? With this. With that? Pump, airhead. It's a hot air tomato balloon. That jungle's really lush. I wonder what kind of fertilizer they use. It's so quiet and peaceful here. Wait until you catch my killer tomato piranhas. <laughs> Killer tomato piranhas. They love wood. They'll strip the boat down to the anchor in minutes. Those killer tomato piranhas are going to nibble us to the bottom of the river. Again. Uh, doctor? Not now, Igor. Can't you see I'm busy shaking my fist? But well, shouting sure, cliches? I really think. Not now! <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Next stop is the Devil's Sink. The soup content of the water is 99 and 45 hundredths of a percent pure. Soil. I could sink my roots in here. Tara, quick! Over here! Best wishes to all my fans. From the tomato link. It's ketchup. And it's still fresh. FT feels it too. The tomato link is here. Probably watching us at this very moment. We're going to need some special help. Uh, Finn Letters, Tomato List, Pizza Palace. Uh, Finn Letters speaking. Uncle Wilbur, this is Chad in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. We need help. We found the missing tomato link. Tomato link? That could be bad. Very, very bad. I'm on my way, Chad.
Sam the Sham Smith. Sam? Speak up. I can barely hear you. Finley, that's you? I'm on a secret assignment. Industrial espionage. What's up? Trouble, Sam. Tomato trouble. Tomatoes? Say no more, buddy. Sam is on his way. <laughs> Relax, F.T. I'm just going for a swim, and this is fresh water. Oh, it's so peaceful here. with you anyway. Oh, excellent! You did it, dude! Yeah, I mean, Doctor, uh, your magnificence, we got the tomato link! Ow! Of course I did it! Was there ever any doubt? First, <laughs> I'm not exactly a lady. I'm a bit of a tomato myself. It's all right. I'm not prejudiced. You know, this is really fun and all that, but my friends will be worrying about me, and there's this mad scientist lurking about in the bushes. Well, how thoughtless of me. Feel free to call home. Thank you. Hello. Tara? We were worried. I'm glad you're fine. I only wish we were. I have to leave. That little bit of trouble I told you about. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Oh, <laughs> this is fun! Whoa! I said set the timer for one minute, not one second. <laughs> okay, sorry, go. Where is Zoltan and that ridiculous gang of five? 
I'm not paying for no shows. Enemy at six o'clock. They write savings time. For the glory of our employer and the no nonsense fundraiser he promised us, the Mendoz attack! We're trapped in the devil's sink. Someone lower the water level. Hi, how's it going? Well, outside the fact that we're outnumbered a thousand to one, not so bad. Maybe it's not too soon. Here they come again. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine. With what? Use your fingers. Like when you were a kid. Uh, Chad, you forget that when I was a kid, I was a tomato. Fingers! What kind of game is this? What kind of game Zotan likes? Hang on, Chad boy! Uncle Wilmer's coming! We have met the enemy, and he's a rock bigger than us. Retreat! I'm parachuting down to help Chad! Oh! Sam! Cut the parachute loose! Gotcha! From the plane! Not from me! Sorry, Wilbur. I'll try to remember next time. Ooh! Doctor! Sir! Someone's burst our balloon! It happens to all of us bad guys, sooner or later. Water levels rising. Hooray! We're out of the devil's sink. Thanks to Uncle Wilbur. <sighs> Sometimes I think I may be getting too old for this kind of stuff. So this is how it all ends with a whimper. The tomato lake, dude. What a magnificent mutation to add to my arsenal. Awfully sorry, gents. This vegetable's not for sale. Ta-ta. Would you consider a long-term rental agreement? Your option. Whoa, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. What's happening, Doctor? What's it look like, Einstein? We're being flushed down the drain. Whoa! See you back at the Pizza Palace, Uncle Wilbur. Thanks for the help. Wherever there's a tomato threatening the peace and security of the free world, that's where you'll find Wilbur Finletter. And the Tomato Task Force. Let's go home, Sam. Whoa! Tomato Link! It's okay. He's on our side. Not all tomatoes are vicious veggies bent on plunder and pillage, you know. Yeah, I should know that. Goodbye, Link. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Be sure to write. You've got my fax number. At least we've seen the last of that evil Dr. Gangreen. I wonder... I'll try to be more careful. And step up the pace. I want to get back to the lab and start my next villainous venture. <laughs> no, no. I'll do that. <laughs> Guys like that give sewers a bad name.
sure to be here Monday for a journey to the magical realm of Neverland, where you'll fly with Peter Pan and the Lost Boys, play Pixie Plates with Tinkerbell, and climb aboard the Jolly Roger Tutu battle with Captain Hook himself. Enter the wondrous world of foxes, Peter Pan and the Pirates, Monday, here on Fox. Now, stick around for great big fun with your little buddy Bobby on Bobby's World, coming up next on Fox. But we're gonna stop them anyway! Send in the Marines! We're the Space Marines! Drake, Ripley, Apebone, Bishop, and I'm Hicks, armed with the latest high-tech heavy metal! Look out, Hicks! The Queen's gonna crown ya! My Bug Rocker's on a roll! Bull alien attacking! Eat torch, Bug Brain! Alien invasion problem? Send in the Marines! Aliens! Send in the Marines! Space Marines! Aliens! Now you can take the hippest film of the year home for keeps. Awesome! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie is on video cassette at a great low price. Righteous! And it only gets better because each video comes with coupons for over $20 worth of food and drinks from Pizza Hut. I love being a turtle! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. Cowabunga! Get them while they're hot. Available at Target for $18.88. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Armed with Quick Draw 45s, the mysterious crime fighter faces the evil show on Khan, now ready for battle. But Shadow's hypno eyes cloud men's minds. You will obey. I will obey. But Khan escapes on his serpent bike. After him, Shadow. Khan fires Boom. first. Shadow Cycle pops a ah. wheelie, launching a counter missile. Oh. Each sold separately. <laughs> End of the room, Khan. Or is it? Who knows? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Tell me, how does a man dressed like a bat get all the attention? With my incredible wall scaler, Joker won't be laughing for long. How special! And don't forget my crime attack battery. Fire! Isn't that swell? Now let's really stop your smile. Iron Witch into action. You're finished, Joker. I just wanted a little attention. The Dark Knight Collection, each sold separately. Batman, the legend lives on.
creature of superhuman size is certain and all of them must come. This is a big mom. One girl can present the direction in what follows them.
Check out my great new house, The Vanishing Vault. Scary. Each sold separately. Just lie down inside and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Even small, I'm scary. Boom. Ah! Now, back to normal. Beetlejuice. Let me try it. Beetlejuice. Where'd he go? And that's why they call it The Vanishing Vault. Welcome back. So how was the vault? I lost my head over it. Ah! Beetlejuice Vanishing Vault comes with micro figure. Other figures sold separately. Universal Studios Hollywood brings you more action, more adventure, more thrills, and more fun than anyone else. And this holiday, we're bringing you even more. Come thrill to an incredible new adventure, Waterworld Live. It's Southern California's only new attraction, and it's only at Universal Studios. We blow everything else out of the water. I don't need a big production. I just don't like waiting for things. Then you'll love the new Blockbuster Visa card. Use it at stores, restaurants, wherever, and earn rewards every month towards free movies, CDs, and a whole lot more. No other card offers so much fun stuff so fast. 
the way I see it, why wait for what's coming to you? Blockbuster Visa from Nations Bank. Who think a Visa card could be this entertaining? Ferocious fondue casserole. It's from an old family recipe. Yeah, real old. Hmm. Oh, don't wait for me, guys. Dig in. Down the old hatch. How about down the old disposal? Hey! Come on, Slimer, quit playing around. <laughs> I know my napkin's down here somewhere, Slimer. <laughs> Slimer. Thanks. Boy, you guys really were hungry. Hey, when we say chow, we mean now. Then how about seconds? Up. Uh, Where are those power blackouts when you need them? What have we got, Janine? Direct orders from his honor, the mayor. Ghosts at the Stacy's department store. Oh, Egon! <laughs> Mwah. Take care. Slimer! <laughs> cool the kissing. Careful, Ray. Oh, no! Look serious. It is. We have a major psychic disturbance inside. Fantastic! We're going in. Ah, a hero's work is never done.
Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back before your credit cards cool off. So far, so quiet. Too quiet. Huh? What? It's just as I suspected. Ghosts have invaded the mall's electrical wiring. any good with tools. Here so we're dealing with haunted hardware. All right, then let's test their warranty. Uh -oh. Garbage gut. Cyber, they got Cyber. Let go of them, you dirty. Now we're cooking. Don't say that. Janine. We got all the ghosts. As soon as we dump them into our trusty high voltage laser containment system, we can finally eat. Hey, who turned off the light? Not me. The power's out. Oh no! The containment unit will. Easy, Ray. Everything is under control. I installed an emergency generator for just such a situation. It'll kick in within three seconds, two, one. All right, hey! hey. Oh, Egon, you're such a genius. Yes, I know. You caught all the ghosts. 
Maybe this thing's bigger than we thought. A lot bigger. Without power, our ecto-containment system will go belly up in 60 seconds. What does that mean? It means if you have any vacation time, take it now. Right, because when this thing blows, we're going to be up to our eyeballs and angry spirits and demons. Gentlemen, don't take this the wrong way, but in 50 seconds, we die. 48. Ah, uh, not without dinner. 47. Ah! 46. Well, Ray, any suggestions? Uh, 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 we could get the generator from the Ecto-1. Right, and we need a pedal locomotion device. Right. 36 seconds. <laughs> I got it. Pedal locomotion device? Easy. Five seconds. Hurry! Four. Three. Hit it! Janine, faster! Two, one. Faster! Zero. Come on, baby! It's working, we're getting power! We did it! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! We're still doing it! So when can we stop? I wouldn't quit just yet. I'm still getting PKE surges from Brooklyn. Don't these ghosts ever learn? Everybody into the car! <laughs> Charge him by the mile. Psychic turbulence coming from the power lines. Huh? The readings are getting stronger. I wish I could say the same for our wheels. That's because she's running without a generator, Winston, remember? Oh. Into the line, our battery hissed. Gentlemen, whatever it is we're after is in that power plant. Hey, hey, the car's rolling. Watch it. Whoa! Oh. Quick, do something! Hit the brakes! Just what I always wanted to be, a hood ornament. I got a plan. Hang on. I wouldn't dream of doing anything else. <laughs> Pete, about that plan of yours. <laughs> wow. Sparky to give us a jump start. Raise the exoscope. Yeah! Ah! 
After you, Ray. I think she's about to take after all of us. Run! We skipped dinner. Yeah, with a little spaghetti sauce, we could be meatballs. Smart guy, we got you covered. Come on out. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. I am Kilowatt. My army feeds on your electricity. It makes us so powerful. No human can stop us. Not even you. Wanna bet? Uh, Peter, I wouldn't... Uh-oh. Mikey likes it. Incredible! He's absorbing full-force proton beams! The power plant's electricity shielding him. Oh, but now you die. <laughs> Yeah. We better 
to stop this guy fast. Let's do it. He's packing enough mega bolts to light up St. Louis. <laughs> There's only one chance. He's drawing all his power from the generators, so we have to shut them down. There's the main switch. Stay away from that switch. No! You don't think she's still... Nah, couldn't be. Keep pedaling, Janine. Don't stop, Janine. When I get my hands on those guys... I'm back. Got to find John Connor. But evil T-1000 gets to him first. Hey, back off. Terminator's heavy metal cycle zeroes in and fires. Ah. But T-1000 stands to get even. This is for getting on my bad side. You're next, John Connor. I'm back. Terminator deploys his secret weapon. Hasta la vista, baby. Terminator this time. Terminator is back. We were hunting dinosaurs. Became the prey. Lost World Jurassic Park. We were pursuing a parasaur when the dino cycle suffered dino damage. And we were surrounded by screaming raptors. The raptors were all over us. We activated our glide packs to escape. But a pteranodont canceled our flight. Something has survived. Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. Attention Pokemon fans! 
Get ready for Pokemon Live at the Fox Theater. Now you can be there as all your favorite characters come to life in this on-stage musical adventure. It's the only place to see a brand new Pokemon with amazing powers. You can meet Brock, Misty, Ash, and of course, Pikachu as the action hits the stage at the Fox Theater. Want to catch them all? Gotta catch it live. Pokemon Live. The evil M. Bison has made his bid for world domination. Now the clock is ticking. Who can defeat this madman? Capcom Street Fighter official movie fighters. Colonel Guile and his Street Fighters move in to take Bison out. But arms dealer Victor Sagat destroys their plans with his Devastator. Fire! So Guile charges the competition with the savage Street Striker. Sagat, your time is up. It's a countdown to the ultimate showdown. Fighting in the street. For control of the world. Capcom Street Fighter, the official movie collection. Devastator comes with exclusive Sagat figure. Street Striker and other figures each sold separately. upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Not lost! Sumerians never get lost. I, I just need to get my bearings. Right. <laughs> Purple lotus dust. <laughs> Waterfall, then so will I. <laughs> I should be able to pick up the tracks again. A Sumerian, the black haired man uh, you brought here. Where is he? Hamanatu, help me! Release her. 
You fight well and honorably. Now let her go. Two against one? Is this your idea of a fair fight? There is no fight. You have earned the right to enter our city. You're silly. There. Mitra. Behold, the valley of the Amazons. It's amazing. I must find Conan. Your slave has been taken to our queen. She will lay claim to him, as is her right. Slave? I don't own Conan. He's my friend. <laughs> it is impossible to be friends with a the male. They are not smart enough. You can't trust them unless they're slaves. You're both wrong. Take me to the city, now! The Sumerian is very handsome. I am sure the queen will treat him well. I don't care how well he's treated. I'm not leaving without him. All right, how much? How much for this fine specimen? If the queen has already claimed him, there is nothing you can do. Nothing? Well, you could challenge her, but if you lose, you become her slave for the rest of your life. That is, if you survive the tests. The last challenger perished. I'm no man's or woman's slave! It's Conan, all right! <laughs> you are not only a slave. You are now my slave. Accept defeat, barbarian, or... Or what? Ah! Conan, Stargirl, come to rescue us! Ah! I don't need rescuing. Who is this woman? Oh, great queen, this is Jasmine. She bested Randolin in combat and demands the return of her... her friend, the Barbarian. She is too late. I've already claimed him. Then I challenge you! You? <laughs> you wouldn't survive the tests. No, Jasmine, I can deal with this! A few more doses of the Purple Lotus and you'll be as docile as my other slaves. You heard my challenge, or are you afraid to accept? Oh, challenge accepted. It will be my pleasure to watch you perish. The first test is javelin throwing. Uncover my target! Spear the flower, and you win. Won't try. You knew when you set this up that I wouldn't risk hurting my friend. Fine. He will make such an attractive slave once he's properly trained. I am sorry, Jasmine. I did not know she could be so unfair, underhanded, a cheat. Yes. Would you like to even things up? It depends on how. Set Needle free. I need your word that he will do nothing to directly affect the outcome. By Mitra, I swear it. Ah, God! Needle, not like big, mean women! Ah! Needle, take this to Conan. Ah! Tell him to escape, and I'll join him later. Ah, 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 ah. Quickly, on to the next challenge before Calivia notices. Hmm, 
Your master risks a lot for you. It must be good to be owned by someone such as she. Jasmine is my friend, not my master. And I am no slave! Oh, you talk as if you were her equal. Of course, we are friends. Oh, I hope for your sake that she succeeds. The queen would treat such words harshly. <coughs> Barbarian not making much dent in stones. Rock. Maybe should try head. Rock. Or maybe try present from Stargirl. Rock. Are the garlands tightly tied to the bull's horns? Yes, my queen. They will be quite difficult to remove. What next, Calypia? We'll go first this time. <laughs> Remove the flowers from the bull's horns, and you win. If you don't mind, Needle. Ah, Needle, 
Oh, we start your life go. Uh -huh. Amanatu has placed my crown on that rock in the middle of the tar lake. Whichever of us is first to get the crown and return with it wins the crown, the throne, and the Sumerian. Be careful! I will! Go! <sighs> Challengers, she perished. I think you forgot something, Calypia. Your crown is a fake. This is the true crown. You, you lie. Hear me. I placed a mark on the inside of the crown before placing it upon the stone. Jasmine's crown is the true crown. Hail, Queen Jasmine! Hail, Queen Jasmine! Hail, Queen Jasmine! Hail, Queen Jasmine! I am your slave. 
Enslaving anyone, man or woman, is wrong. Set Conan free at once. Set all your slaves free. Well, Queen Jasmine, I'm glad to see that you will rule wisely. Rule? Not me. We have places to go, you and I. Amanatu, for your intelligence and wisdom, I declare the crown belongs to you. Jasmine! I... I will remember your wisdom. And from now on, we will live in peace with men as equals. <laughs> men as equals? Oh, what are you equals? No, free? Free? Yeah. Men? Do not worry. Oh, it will take time, but I will see it done. It will be worth it. Conan, our work here is done. <clears throat> equals, remember? <laughs> equals. <laughs> upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. It's here, a force so phenomenal, a power of such interdimensional proportions, you'd think it was right out of a movie. It is, and it's only at McDonald's. The mighty Morphin Power Rangers and their Ninja Zords have landed. You can get a break and your kids can get a more phenomenal Ninja Zord and action figure set for just $1.59 when you buy a Happy Meal or large sandwich. Collect them all. They're here to save the world. Sir? Uh, yes? You gonna eat all those fries? Have you had oh. your break today? Outside, inside a chewing gum made to hold on to the cold. Dentine ice, now in cinnamon too. Nothing's colder than ice. How much time do we have, Slick? About two minutes. Hang on. Hope this thing don't blow up in our faces. Down here. seconds. This way. You that Bobo, sorry. It's right here. She's a sight to behold. You're the luckiest squad on earth, Bobo. Hey, no, Okay, 
We don't have to kiss the bride, do we? So you still got it bad for Astro Babe? What makes you say that? You're sporting your good black suit. Aileen, what brings you to this part of town? What Kay means is he's been counting the days till he set eyes on you again. Transporting a perp. Had to stop and refuel for the trip home. What Aileen means is she went 12 light years out of her way just to roll through and hang with you. Got time for a cup of coffee? What Kay means is... Got time for a cup of coffee? Space travel gives him the heebie-jeebies, so don't even think about asking. What Jay means is, he's worried I might kidnap his partner. Maybe. Don't blame you. Kay's a catch. But these days, I'm spoken for. Jay, meet Edie. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Big Apple. What Slick means is, he no longer feels threatened by you. Edie, meet Kay, Earth's finest. Aileen speaks well of you. I'll fetch us some snacks for the trip. I'll check on our prisoner. Snacks sound good. Be a gentleman and help Edie out, Slick. Might learn something. Kay's got a girlfriend. She's a fighter and a lover. Think they smooch? Uh-oh. Oh, please, I'm drinking here. The perp's name is Alduzi. The voice. Heard he can liquefy titanium with just one note. High C. Leveled half a city back home. A waste of talent. Should be singing love songs. Been doing this long? My first case. A rookie! I was a rookie once myself. Aileen's a legend back home on planet Arbus. I'm fortunate to be learning from the best. I did pick up a thing or two from Kay. Of course, ain't no substitute for raw talent. Don't worry, his bonds are secure. Do I look worried? A doozy's voice can strip flesh from bones. Ew. Get back!
Jay. Edie. You in one piece, Slick? What? Alduzi's gone. It happens. I screwed up once or twice when I was a rookie. Right, Kay? Can't hear you, Tiger. Might try taking your foot out of your mouth. What I meant was, uh, there's no way you could have known he was going to sprout another mouth. Come on. The particulars do not matter. I failed in my duty. I will not fail again. Alduzi's going to try and get off this planet. We'll shake down the usuals. Start with Jeebs. Best hit Frank, too. We'll be more efficient if we split into teams. Uh, boys with the boys, right? We'll see you at Jeebs. Watch and learn. Yo, hold up. Not so fast. Got to get you hit to which one's... Jay, the... who's the Amazon? Alien. <clears throat> We're looking for our doozy. His master's voice? What makes you think I've heard anything? Frank, I'm thinking you're sure to pick up our doozy's vibe with your super sensitive dog hearing. Catch this vibe. I only look like a dog. Okay, Aileen, you must be here for the his and hers towel sale. You're funny as ever, Jeebs. Heard from a low life named Alduzi? Hmm, Alduzi. The voice. Rhymes with choice. As in, you can choose to tell us what we want to know, or you can start growing another head now. Whoa, <laughs> hey, you gotta love that L train. Location, location. That's no subway. Wouldn't worry about the pug not talking. Jeeb's joints always jumping. See what I mean? Kay! Hey, Lee! Yeah. Go after him. <laughs> you can pop someone's ear drums that way. Uh, let's go! Uh, we can't take the LTD. <laughs> Been driving long? Not allowed to drive. Oh. Can't lose him again. I won't. Okay, okay. Just don't touch. Yeah. Dude's bringing down the the LTD. I can't believe you totaled the LTD. K is gonna neuralize my butt. I tell you not to take the car, you wrecked the ride. You gotta learn to listen up when your senior officer speaks, girl. <laughs> Yo, Edie, it's, it's all part of the gig. We'll take him down. What happened, Slick? Sir, I... Did what she could. Our doozy got away when I, uh, crashed the LTD. Hope you enjoyed the ride. It was your last. <sighs> Do you know how hard it is to get parts for foreign cars? And why didn't you stop him? Don't you know he's not supposed to drive? Zed, Edie's new. I'm talking to all four of you. This isn't just any felon on the loose. This is an earthquake waiting to happen. I want to know why he's still at large. I want it. Huh. 
Gentlemen, ladies, the sonic nullifier. Interest peaked? Ah, uh, what are you blabbering on about, L? Every type of sound possesses an innate resonant frequency. A siren, a cricket, the human voice. The sonic nullifier can ID any frequency and emit a wave of its exact opposite, effectively neutralizing the sound. Nefty, huh? Sitting on the tree. Hey, I got that. RNG. <laughs> well, we still gotta find him before we can shut his mouths. That's why, with your purchase of the Sonic Nullifier, you also receive this frequency tracker. It slices, it dices. It tracks frequencies. I've got it calibrated for a doozy's voice. So there's a catch. He's gotta say ah first. Just a peep. Well, you're with Kay and Aileen on this one. Far out. Take the gremlin while the LTD is in the shop. <laughs> Don't think all five of us will fit in that clown car. You go on ahead. No, Edie stays here with you. Aduzi's looking to leave Earth. I need you both to research potential launch sites in the event L's accoutrements fail. Not gonna happen, but... No buts. Jay needs your help. I don't believe this. A dozen launch sites on the Upper East Side alone. How's that expect us to figure out where our doozy's gonna catch an interstellar bus? He doesn't. He's keeping us out of the way. Out of trouble. Well, that troubles me. We should be checking out the dives, talking to the lowlights. Whoa, the Apollo Theater is a launch pad? Wonder if James Brown knew about this. Ever groove to the godfather of soul, Edie? <laughs> Edie. Password. Open says me. I'm MIB. You yeah, come on, man. The suit makes the customers nervous. Now, if you told me which alien lowlife dive you were going to stake out, might have saved me a little time. Jay? Listen to me good this time. I know how bad you want our doozy. But as long as Kay's filling up Aileen's dance card, I'm your partner. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got to stop taking the show on the road solo. I'm not interested in doing this alone, Jay. I just don't want to make you look bad anymore. Well, don't you worry about that, okay? It's hard for me to look anything but good when I'm not wearing one of these. Now, we straight? Okay, somehow different when Aileen's around. Little things, how he ties his tie, the way his jaw isn't clenched so tight. Aileen gave her human suit a mud pack treatment before we got here. No, steam cleaned the pores and all? And not that you'd notice, but when Kay's around, the follicles on her tendrils quiver. Word! <sighs> a doozy won't show. Chill. Stakeouts aren't exactly an exact science. What'll it be? Huh? I said, what'll it be? Come again? <laughs> <laughs> What's a big-eared guy like you doing needing a hearing aid? What business is it of yours? MIB business of mine. Okay. It's Jay. Our doozy's heading for the planetarium. It's a launch site. Live one. That's my partner. How'd you find out, kid? He had help. Long story. We'll meet you there. <laughs> Haven't seen a flying planetarium yet. Good sign. We got a bite.
think he means off with our heads. Keys are in the ignition. Edie, it's up to you. We'll take care of it. Ah! Works for me. Buckle up. Time for overdrive. Where's the button? Hey, this is a regular gremlin. Destination locked. Yo, boombox. Flight's canceled. your ears. Loose lips sink ships. I'm staying with Abduzi. Whoa, no way. You're coming with me. Something must have popped. Can't hear you. Hey! Never know where a coffee break with you is gonna lead, Kay. Wild weekend. We'll do it again. It's been real. Send me a postcard. Not that I want to pick out curtains with you or anything. Goodbye, Jay. If you ever decide to come visit Arbus, I'll let you crash Aileen's car. Promise. Edie's gonna make a good cop. Mm-hmm. Bad driver, though. They're still buffing the dings out of the LTD. Yo, hold up. You knew all along? Maybe. So you let me drive the LTD when it gets out of the shop, right? L must have activated her sonic nullifier. Your lips are moving, but I don't hear a word.
Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Uh, let's see. One thousand burrito supremes, seven hundred Mexican pizzas, and one of those new gorditas. Hey, Godzilla, want something to drink? Godzilla's at Taco Bell on four collector cups, and now you can put them in a cool Godzilla cup holder. Get them while supplies last. Tony, now that you've changed to Pepsi, what else would you change? I'd like to be soap on a rope and Claudia Schiffer's shower. Well, she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. <laughs> but she always knows her place. She's got style, she's got grace. She's a winner. She's a lady. Oh, 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 she's a lady. And the lady is mine. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black? In an uncertain world, in a chaotic time, justice wears a mask. to make a pretty lethal combination. Ah! Train me, let me be your partner. Who's your tailor? But first, let's meet our contestants. Going down. If the bat wants to play, we'll play. <laughs> <laughs> Was that over the top? Scorcher out there, our sixth straight week without rain and not a cloud in sight. Ugh. Hey, watch it. My point again. Hey, have some fun in the sun, Nikki. Even we can't do anything about the weather. If the water levels in the harbor keep dropping, Godzilla's food supply will run low. Then who knows what'll be on the menu. You're the only person I know who comes to the beach hoping for rain. Sunblock SPF 90, anybody? I stand corrected. It's all reggae all day as WGCA heats things up for today's concert in Central Park. Be the 12th caller and win a vacation to Jamaica. Jamaica? That trip is mine, man. Eight million people in New York and you're gonna win. Hey, some people are just lucky. Shh, it's ringing. Caller 11? Come on, Randy. Ah. Game. Again. Thanks for not rubbing it in.
Is this what you Americans refer to as a day at the beach? Ah, I hate this air conditioner. I'm breaking out in a heat rash all over my... Stop right there, Mendel. Some things are better left to the imagination. Today's barometric pressure doesn't support the formation of a tornado. According to storm chasers, twisters favor non-coastal areas with interacting weather fronts and storm conditions. That doesn't sound like the Jersey Shore to me. It's time to give away another trip to Lucky Caller number 12. Jamaica, here I come. You are a glutton for punishment. Oh, -ho, with speed dial and redial, that prize is as good as mine. Come on, come on. Jamaica. Yes! Queens Transit Authority, how can I help you? Ah, Jamaica, Queens? Who's been messing with my equipment? Doc! Hmm. Quiet, I want to hear this. This bizarre weather phenomena has meteorologists baffled as reports of twisters stretch from the beaches of New Jersey to here, the Montgomery County Power Plant outside Bristol, Connecticut. Connecticut? Who's up for a drive? If I am not mistaken, heat was created to study mutations, not weather patterns. I'll go, Nikki. We don't need anybody else. Keep an eye on the weather satellite images and call if anything develops. I'll go, Nikki. We don't need anybody else. Ah, don't worry, Doc. You still have your heat rash to keep you company? My colleagues and I were conducting studies which combine nuclear fission with wind energy to create a new source of power. Unfortunately, it was more unstable than we anticipated. So I see. Any chance the twister we saw at the beach is the same one created by your experiment? <laughs> a tornado requires enormous energy and dissipates if not supported by atmospheric conditions. Any connection is quite impossible. Nick. What do you think? Well, I don't think Bigfoot's in town. Totopolis. Auntie M, it's a twister, and it's 22 miles due east, headed inland just north of Lake Powatha. Meet us there. I programmed Nigel to take constant atmospheric readings. The data suggests that the twister's a meteorological anomaly. Its PSI is 50 times what it should be. Translation, this thing blows big. It's headed our way! Nigel! Mendel, move it! I do not believe a twister runs away, even from Godzilla. Unless it isn't really a twister. Voila! I tapped in 
the Nigel's video feed. Looks like our tornado's been busy. What's that in the center? Nigel! Come on, Doc. You can rebuild them. You have the technology. Oh, what's the point? Found it. I kept thinking about those paw prints at the power plant, so I downloaded bios on vermin common to northern Connecticut. Did you find my Uncle Louie? That looks familiar. The masked shrew is a small rodent indigenous to the northeastern United States. It has a voracious appetite and, due to its extremely fast metabolism, consumes three times its own body weight each day. What a chow hound. So what does a rat have to do with a tornado? Everything. Those teeth, the same image Nigel fed back to us. Right. I'm thinking bionuclear fusion. This shrew was caught just outside the power plant at the time of the explosion. The subsequent burst of radiation mutated the shrew, fusing it with a twister the experiment had generated. So it's half shrew and half twister. A uh, shrewster. The shrew is using the wind funnel as a vacuum to suck up food. You mean Nigel was just an appetizer. Suggestions? Take the wind out of it. How do you propose we do that? They usually contain an area of extreme low pressure at their center. So if we find a way to release high pressure into the core... We might be able to turn off this rooster. What? This high-pressure infusion system will release 5 million PSI of compressed air into the twister's core, negating the pressure inside, stopping the twister, and exposing the shrew. This switch activates it? Don't touch! This is a very volatile device, especially during its initial pressurizing sequence. You mean volatile as in kaboom? Hey! That's why we'll activate it with a remote. I hacked into the National Weather Bureau. If somebody sneezes within the five boroughs, we'll know. Rim, no! Oops. Uh, now I'll have to repressurize the whole system. You better do it fast. Our shrewster is approaching the southern tip of Manhattan. So a twister sucks stuff in and blows it out? Yes. A tornado counterbalances its inward centrifugal pull by emitting a continuous gale of wind. Of course, I, I, I knew that. Think of it as inhaling and exhaling. The Shrewster is headed towards City Hall! Home of hot air! Get in front of it! Save us. 
ourselves first. Central Park. Reggae concert! Are you ready to be blown away, New York? Sick. Hello! Hello! Can anyone hear me? Nick! You're alive! Barely! Status! The Shrewster's headed for Central Park and a few thousand Rastas. <laughs> we can't activate the HPIS by remote. Maybe I can set it off manually. I just need... Nick! Nick!
Looks like Hicks will have a new attraction at Monster Island. Ah! Oh, I knew it. Probably bronchitis. Where's the cell phone? I have the pharmacy on speed dial. Hello? This is Dr. Mendel Craven, and I'm... the twelfth caller? No! You've won our final vacation package to Jamaica! No way. No way! That's my trip! Correction. But the sun makes you blister, sand makes you itch, and swimming gives you earaches! True, but I am rather interested in the International Robotics Lab in Kingston. Perhaps I could use an assistant. <laughs> I'll pack for both of us. What just happened here? Hey, some people are just lucky.